What's up guys? So I have an iron four account and I'm going to climb this iron four account all the way from iron to diamond. And during this whole climb, I'm going to be doing informative commentary. So I'll basically be showing you how I'm going to be climbing every rank up until diamond. I'll pretty much go over everything. I'll go over matchups. I'll go over builds. I'll go over macro, micro tips, tricks, just everything. So if you guys want to climb with Katarina, stay subscribed. I promise I will make it easy for you. And if you enjoy this series, like, comment, all that good stuff for the algorithm. And if you want like short videos and clips of this series as well, you can follow me on TikTok. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. are currently in like low bronze low bronze a little bit of iron here and there more so it's still pretty low elo now i've been trying to find a way to teach you guys a little bit better when it comes to um this elo because you know i don't want to just stop right i don't think you guys really learn anything from that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys fundamentally how Katarina should be played, right? So, no. so what are we going to do? We have Conquer. We're going to get maybe D shield wouldn't be a bad idea. It's against Emma. So we'll get D shield and all we're going to do is we're going to try to get priority. Now, when it comes to controlling mid lane, that's basically your job. You want to control the mid lane. And when it comes to controlling the mid lane, it means that you want to be able to make the first move, right? And you want to be able to find times where you can run around and start pressuring the map. That's what mid lane is. It's like a mid lane thing. In the mid lane, look at where the lane is. It's right in the middle of the map. This means that you have access to wherever, wherever you want on the map, okay? And the way you get access to the map without losing advantages is by getting priority, shoving the lane. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So in the laning phase, I'm just gonna be farming and I'm just gonna try to control the lane. Now, early game, the way you control the lane is by like pressuring the enemy in terms of like poking them out killing them even but we're not going to try to get kills okay we're just going to try to focus on control i'm trying to show you guys you guys don't need to kill your lane to gain control of the lane okay a couple good trades would be fine um just getting them low having health advantage being able to shove them in and just having a good wave control right so right now, MF isn't that strong. We have D-Shield, we're just playing to like, sustain and farm. That's it. Just gonna try to grab as much farm as we can. We can't grab these. So she's just gonna keep pushing me in. So right now, she has the control, right? I have to kind of concede till I get my abilities. Now, if jungles, jungler ganks, I will follow up. Other than that, I'm going to try to just get control of the lane. So she wants the cannon. We're going to punish that. And we're just going to jump out. We're just chunking at her health. That's it. That's all we're doing. But we're going to punish her for getting the cannon. Now you can see she's playing a little bit farther back. Now let me try to scare her one more time. Q, E, E out. It's more poke, right? She's low. Now look what happens. They're fighting in the top lane, which I can't go to sadly. But I would have had the first move there, which is the important part, right? Poked out the MF, and now I have control in the lane. We see the cane here. So we're just gonna... fine 
as long as we just avoid the gank. We saw him coming already. He's gonna go bot lane. Now, I want to be ready for my team. I want to be read readily available. But we don't have, like, the AP items to really control the lane right now. Because once you start getting, like, your Blasting Wand, your Amp Tome, that's, what you can, that's when you can really, like, just shove in and start getting the first move most of the time. Right now, we could just sort of pressure the MF. Just like that. Throw the Q, E out. Now she has to back, right? She loses these minions. Might be able to... Get this cannon here. Boom. Now MF is still here. And I want her out of this lane so that I could do stuff on the map, right? But right now, MF's getting denied. Now I have control of the lane. Right now... I don't know if she's backing. I don't. I feel like she sh she should be in theory. But what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna shove in this next wave. We have her blasting one, so we're gonna back. Always watch where your jungler is as well. Our jungler is towards the bottom side of us, and you kind of want to know like what the jungler wants to do, so you can kind of like follow him, right? I've made my so MF backs comes back, shove in the lane. He's going to be kind of stuck here farming for a bit. It's going to be a cannon wave as well. So I have plenty of time to come back into lane. I'm going to get the blasting wand and we're just going to walk back. Now, I wish I had the amp tone. If I had the amp tone, then I'd be able to just shove in, shove in, shove in. Maybe not yet. Maybe it would be really close. If I had the dark seal and the amp tone, then yes. But I'd probably be able to start shoving the wave harder in the next, in the next back. Once I start getting more AP items. Now, a AD matchups, kind of annoying. Definitely kind of annoying. I can just let this push into me, but again, I want to focus more on just trying to get that first move. So, boom. We're just going to farm this out. See if MF walks in on the dagger. I'm going to ult. Ah, she flashes now. Now what's going to happen, right? She might be less inclined to like move on the map and I actually have more control here. Now here, she's kind of low. Can I maybe do something here? Coming. Hmm. I guess not. Got to come back into lane here at this point. And there's kind of like a timer or a pattern that you should follow. Like, you should move and come back into lane, get the farm, push, move again, you know? The point is to like not miss EXP as you're doing this. So right now, we're going to get the hard shove. And then we're going to move. Come in here. Oh, Kane decides to fight this. Notice that MF's not here. Seth might come up. I'm gonna ignite here. Boom. Nice. Nunu gets a kill. That's good. Again, had the first move in the lane. And I'm just gonna go around and try to see if I can help out my team, gank lanes, stuff like that. Now here the wave is pushing into me. MF is kinda low. Does she want to roam? Does she want to back? Got to be careful of the daggers. It's fine. She doesn't do any damage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push it in. And I'm already at the advantage here. Boom. Alright. And now, maybe bottom. We're going to come bottom and we're going to see if we can do anything. Now let's watch the wave here. It's a cannon wave, so I have plenty of time to roam. I'm going to go down here. Maybe Diana can bait something. Ooh, I think they see me. Ooh, I didn't get my Q off. That is fine. They used the heal. 
I don't have ulti here, but it's fine. I wasn't going to use it. Now, let's look at the lane here. MF doesn't make, like, doesn't deny me a lot of CS here, right? Maybe, like, one minion. No, three minions. And I still get the cannon here. I'm back in lane. And get the wave. And the, we're going to do it again. W. Q. Ooh. So, we're going to back here, actually. We're going to back. Kane is down there, but I think I want my items. And I'm going to get Cirque Shoes, and I'm going to get Amtone. Just so that we can continue just shoving in the wave. We have the movement speed now to, like, run around, right? Now, just know that when I roamed down, I did burn the heal. So, it could have created space for our team to, like, you know, win out that trade bot lane, right? But again, we're going to follow the plan. We're just going to maintain control in the mid lane. Ooh, Zyra. Okay. Yeah, we're going to maintain control in the mid lane. We're just going to shove back. Back and move. Nunu wants help? Sure, I got you. MF's not here. She can't respond. I'm going to help you. Q. I am readily available for my team. As the mid laner, that is my job, okay? Now we're gonna do it again. Ooh, wait a second. Again, I am here. Oh, Emma. We have Sword Shoes. Just poke her out. Ooh, Nunu ganks. Oh. Ooh, all right, that's fine. All right, we're gonna take one. We gotta watch out for Kane here. All right. Now MF dies to the Nunu gank. Now again, this is another timer, but I'm gonna use this to back. I'm half health. You generally want to stay healthy when you're kind of like running around and doing this, right? You want to stay healthy. It's very important. Being readily available for your team also means that like you gotta be ready to fight. And if you're like half health and taking too much poke, then that ain't it. So you gotta make sure you push the wave safely. Garen. Ooh, not cool. That's not good. So we have the ward on bot side here, so we wanna hug the bot side more so. Alright, right now. What's MF's items? Not too strong at the moment. So. Cannon waves are a little bit harder to push, so I could wait for the next wave to come in and just push this slowly. But MF's actually just pushing. Maybe we could just try to poker here by queuing this. We're just gonna run. We could have gotten a bad ulti off there. But that's not the play, that's not the point. Now you see how I'm like, kinda lower on health? It's not good. Now, like, she kind of has the control. She she knows that I'm low, so, like, me taking any kind of poke is pretty bad for me, right? Okay, I see the Nunu, though. Uh, Nunu doesn't come towards mid. Okay. That'd be nice if we could have a plant or something. Would be nice. So, she actually has control of the lane. So, if she keeps keeps this up, she's going to have the first move on the map, right? But we're going to get the shove out. And actually, we can potentially move here. Can we look at bottom? We're not like super healthy right now, right? I mean, MF's just going to keep farming, just going to keep doing the same thing. Then I can just like maybe poke her out here by Q. I'm gonna ult. I will let you live. Alright. What's important is that we got control. That's that's the important part. We have control. MF flashed. If Nunu wants to gank, go for it. Now we're just gonna shove in this next one. Boom. 
Now we're gonna back here. MF also has the back, but now the timer is gonna be off, okay? What's gonna happen is because she doesn't back in time at the same time that I do, I'm actually gonna get into lane quicker. And I have more time. So she's recalling now, right? So I'm gonna get back into lane. I'm gonna be able to, be able to shove that wave and then I get to go for the move again. This time I bought some pots so that I can kind of sustain up and stay a little bit more healthy, right? Shut down. An enemy has been slain. All right, now we get the shove. Now MF is going to come back into lane. Let's see. All right, let's get the move. We have the move here. Zyra is playing super aggro. And so we're going to punish that. Gonna walk through here, so I eat W, Q, E, boom. And we're just gonna go back into the mid lane. Just using our roam timers, pressure the map. That's all we want, that's all we need. Now we see MF pushing in, and we're gonna hard punish this. She has no flash. W, Q, E, O. If we get a gank, I will follow it up, yeah? Okay, we don't know where Set is. Okay. Now we have the support Diana pushing in. And I'm down to follow. Alright. We took down the tower. So now at this point... Ooh, wait a second. So we're at the point where... We just have to outplay. We're just here to outplay. I've noticed that after a certain point in the game, it's, it's a battle royale. There could be a little bit of macro involved and in trying to see like where the enemy team is going to be and whatnot, but um, yeah, it's, it's always pretty random though. But with the items that we have here, we got to see if we can actually like kill things and who we can kill. So right now we have Nashers, we're 11. It's gonna be hard killing set. Um, these four are pretty easy to kill. Now, here I can actually do the same thing. Just push and roam. But right now, our team's taking dragon and they're gonna go in, so I am down to go in as well. Boom. I am dead. Yeah, that's the thing about Kane. Kane is like kind of annoying when you're playing cat, I gotta agree. That Kane ulti though. It's mainly the annoying part, but hey, we went in. Our team got the drag. That's the important part here. Now we have set that's gonna start roaming around, I guess. I have conquer, right? So I'm gonna go into I think Riftmaker or Demonic. Uh, let's go into, let's go into Demonic. So it would be good if Tristana, like me and Tristana swapped here so I can get uh, side lanes, but I don't think it's that kind of game. I don't, that's like too much macro, right? I think I can get more advantages just by like running around and looking for fights that my teams go for. Or like if the enemy team wants to like go for any kind of, uh, play as well. Okay. Okay. Oh, MF. Kane sure not bolt. Team goes in. E -O. WQ. Boom. Like I said, just going mid looking for looking for kills. Looking for kills. And our team just happened to like group around, so that was pretty nice. So I was just waiting for my team to like go in. Like we have the Nunu to go in, right? We have the Garen to go in here too. That's kind of a general rule of thumb. Just let your team go in first so that you could like follow up, but it's not always gonna happen all the time, right? I think at this point, we're strong enough to pretty much try to make plays on our own. Because we have the 
Actually, maybe not so much with this build, but... Eh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So, if you see at least the concept that I was trying to teach you early game, it actually helps, like, kind of help out your entire team. Now, top lane, I didn't really help. So, luckily, he was able to find, like, ways to get advantages on his own. But I definitely helped out bot lane in the jungle. And now at this point, I'm just like really strong. Let's see, Nunu's here. I'm moving. I'm I'm going. Set's here as well. Okay, he canceled my Q. Does Set have ult? He does. Boom. Nice. Just again, they're for my team. So me and my team can win the fight, right? It's, it's selfless. It's selfless. It's, it is a team game. You always want to look at the map and see if there's any fights. Now, the point is to like, isn't to like get your team ahead. More so like your teammates. It's more like you kind of do it for yourself, right? It's like, you want to get the kill so you can carry the game. That's at least my thought process when it comes to playing Katarina in general. Okay. Again, just like gearing towards my team. I'm putting myself in the position where like I can play with my team here, right? All right, we're going to kill the MF. All right. Kane here. Kane should be here, right? Ooh, I think I'm dead here. Might have to flash. Flash might not be enough. Ooh. Pause champ. I'm fast because of Relentless. I think I'm okay. Now three of them chase me. Now look what's happening mid lane. This is great. I'm just gonna back up here. Let's just start going into our Rift Maker. We have Dragon up as well, but I don't think we give a shit. We have Hex Gates, so we should take it. Now let's see where the next fight is. It's gonna be mid lane, right? Just look at look at the Nunu here. It's gonna be mid lane, so I'm gonna go to mid lane and see if I can pick up any kills here. Cause you know Nunu's gonna stall and continue the fight, right? Or they want to like fight the Nunu. Might be able to catch him off here. Want to jump it on the Zyra. Maybe not the Kane. Kane's too annoying to deal with. Alright. Next fight might be on this Trist. They might jump in on the Trist. Okay. Now we see top too, like people might respond to top. There is also mid inhib, like we could probably just like apply our pressure and just shove in mid, but I'm gonna try to be here for the team instead. Ooh, I might get pincered here. What can my team get out of this if they focus me? Maybe top side? Okay. Nice. <laughs> We're very strong. Played that pretty well too. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. 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 It's okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Right, let's go. Let's go get this Rift Maker. We want to be healthy so we can fight more. So let's get this Rift Maker. Let's also get this Zanyas. 
And now there's going to be a fight there, and I really wish I was there, but I was too low to fight that, so I backed. I don't know if this is the right move, per se. Team's winning that anyway, but we're in the clear. Team wants to push in the inhib. Now there's a good chance that the enemies might start the fight. Seeing that low ass Nunu. But we can just like pressure the inhib here. Just hit it, yep. I am here. Oh. Oh. Am I dead? Oh, close, close. Now we're just fed. Now we, now we're just at the point where we're fed, so we can kind of just do dumb shit. I think the main thing that I really wanted to focus on was like the early game. The early game was the important part. Notice how I didn't like really take advantage of the lane. I more so like took advantage of like, actually, I guess it is kind of the lane. But the way I played it out wasn't to like kill people. It was more so about like getting priority and trying to make the move. That's the important part. That's what you should be looking for. Kills just happen to be the best way to put yourself in a position to pressure, right? But you shouldn't resort to like, you shouldn't resort to that. It's not a good thing to resort to. It won't make your gameplay consistent. We're just gonna kill. Ouch. You can get her on just now. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start going in now because I'm fed. Again, it's just gonna be a free for all after a certain point. But notice how I like hover around where I feel like there's going to be a fight. And I'm like, oh, I can clean that up. I've noticed at least in this elo is that like positioning is definitely an issue for a lot of players here. Like people overstep a lot. And I don't think they realize that like with Cat, if people overstep, like you can get like huge advantages off of it. That's why Katarina is really good in this elo. But you also have to know how to play. You also have to know how to spot that like specific situation and you also have to spot like you have you also have to play it well it comes down to a lot of things you also have to know like what items you have and yeah i really do think it comes down to like people's micro like people's micros are a little rusty here or they're not like formed so i want to emphasize like you guys get comfortable with like clicking around your character like moving around like, it's actually super important. Because it'll help you execute, like, things better. Alright, it is GG's, my friend. Just brute force it down mid, we got fed. And yeah, mainly top more fundamentals this game, and I really hope you guys learned something from that. GG's.